Hey folks, how's it going? It's Mr. Murray coming to you with Socks in Box Plots, all right? And whether or not you're a more laid back person who says box plots or you're kind of more fancy schmancy and you say box and whisker plots, that doesn't really make much of a difference, right? It's There's always something here for you when it comes to box plots. Now, when we do socks, just do keep in mind that there is a little, there are some caveats when we do socks with box plots. And what I mean by that is that box plots are very nice for doing the shape because we can easily see if it's skewed or symmetric and we'll see how. And they're good for the outliers because you can see like if once someone looks way out there, it's okay. The center and the spread is where we're going to run into issues because the finding the mean of a box plot is pretty difficult. So if we run into that situation, we're going to have to do some touch and go. Just something to think about, right? How do you find the mean when the only numbers you have are the min, the Q1, the Q2, the Q3, and the max, right? And the Q2 being the median, all right? So here we go. Here's my first box plot. Now, what I see in this box plot is I see, again, in any box plot, we have the minimum, the quartile one, which is more than a quarter of the data, the median, which is the halfway mark, the Q3, which is greater than three quarters of the data, and the max. So here I see a couple things. I definitely see an, a skew. I can see the skew right here because this is the data that's way off to the right, this stuff right here. So when you have a box plot, if the box in the middle, good, symmetry. If the box is off to one side, look at which whisker is longer because that whisker is going to be your tail and is going to give you where your skew is. So that's something that's pretty cool about box and whisker, the, the ability to have that really nice visual for the skew. Okay, so here the data are skewed to the right. Outliers, I'm going to argue that there is an outlier that we can definitely identify. There's an outlier of 490. Now, we don't know that it's an outlier, so this I'm going to put in question mark. I would let you say it if there was no other data to really know. Something you might want to keep in mind is that you will see this. So some box and whisker plots actually will end and there'll be a hollow dot out on the right or maybe out on the left that is actually sometimes um a symbol for an outlier and i think they do that because they're like well it is an outlier but it's not like it's gonna mess up the data so much that we'll, we'll note that it's there but for the purpose of the box and whisker we're not going to really in include it because it puts too much skew on the data um, so it's like a recognition but kind of like a no thanks but no thanks so all right center now the median is the center and I can see that the median this is going up by 20 so this is about 170 so since the data are skewed the median of 170 best represents the center of the data. All right, spread. So Q3, 210, 230, 250. 90. So what that's going to mean, 160. Since the data are skewed, the IQR of, clean that up, T-H-E, IQR of 160 best represents the spread of the data, okay? 
So folks, please make sure you understand what I did there. And then when you're ready, go ahead and I'm going to move on to another example. All right, I'm going to do just this, this one more example. Um, I don't think I'm going to look at symmetry um, because symmetric data is just going to be really difficult. Um, you know, we can't really find the mean without the original data anyway. So it's kind of like a predicament. So let's take a look at this. So here, this is what I'm talking about. This is a more clear sign. I believe this was intended to be a mark of an outlier. Okay, so first, here we can see that the data the data are skewed to the left. Okay. This is this bigger tail on the left relative to the right. All right. Outliers. So this appears to be an outlier. Now, this appears to be going up by, uh, let's see, now, let's see, one, two, three, four. So five, this appears to be going up by 0 0.1 as far as I know. Um, so it's about, Let's say negative 0 0.9. So there is one outlier. Negative 0 0.9. Okay, center. So we're going to use the median for the center. The median is about 0.4 on a, on a box and whisker. It's easier to see that. The median of 0 0.4 best represents this data because it because they are skewed the data are skewed okay so a different way of writing it but again it's a 0.4, you give me the what specifically, the median, which is the measurement, and the what. Okay, now here I've got a 0 0.5, 0 0.6, 0 0.7, and here I've got about 0.1. Okay, so the IQR of 0 0.6 best represents. This data because they are skewed. Okay? So, again, sticking to everything we know about how we analyze, looking to, to the, the graph, the visualization to find the shape. Again, looking to where the tail is, using your best judgment and most reasonable judgment to find outliers. Remembering that uh, skewed data, we'll use the median for the center and the IQR for the spread, while symmetric data, we'll use the mean for the center and the standard deviation for the spread, and it kind of just always follows that pattern. So hopefully you're able to find this video helpful. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, please feel free to subscribe so you can see all my newest videos. Don't forget to love math, and remember, you can do it. Until next time, have a wonderful day.